I consider myself a dreamer or an optimist. Uh, my glass is half full. So when I see a project on Pinterest, I think that I can do it. And I think it'll look the same as it looks on the internet. So if you don't know what Pinterest is, it's like where um, like women like me and you know people who want to be stay-at-home moms um, go for like craft ideas or like ideas of how to pick out outfits or how to do your hair better. Um, and I'm pretty into like the craft part of it and DIY stuff. And I like put glitter nail polish on my keys so like I knew which one was which. Um, and that turned out really well. Um, <laughs> and so my confidence was high. And um, my husband was going out of town for the weekend for a bachelor party. And so I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do something a little bigger than this and kind of surprise him when he gets back. And he'll be so impressed with how like resourceful I am and creative and I'm like I'm gonna create this garden oasis on our um, apartment patio 12th story downtown Portland um, and so I found this idea and you take a wooden pallet like that people who drive trucks have on the back um, and you put the, this is what the blog that Pinterest linked me to said you put you staple gun landscape fabric um, on the back of it, then you stuff it so full with plants and soil that when you lift it up, it just all stays there because uh, the because so the roots and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, this is fine. And um, I go to my parents' house and I borrow my dad's staple gun. And I go to Lowe's and get some landscape fabric, and I'm like, okay, I just need a palette and like a lot of other shit, but well, let's do the palette first. Um, and so I drive, I, you can't Google like, where do you get a palette? Or maybe you can, but I didn't. And so I drive to um, Home Depot in Clackamas, um, and I go up to a guy and I'm like, um, I need a palette. And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, like that, that all those items you're gonna sell to customers are on top of, like I need the under part of that. <laughs> and he's like, I can't just give that to you. You have to rent it for $5. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna give it back to you. <laughs> I'm like, so you're saying I can buy it from you for $5? He's like, no, I'm saying you can rent it and then when you return it, you'll get the $5 deposit back. And I was like, so I'll buy it from you for $5 because I'm telling you right now I'm not gonna bring it back. <laughs> and he's like, well, that's not the policy. And I'm like, okay, I'll bring it back. <laughs> so, um, so I've got like the weird Home Depot cart and I'm going out to my car, which is a 2008 Jetta. <laughs> And I get to my car, and I'm like, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> this absolutely will not fit in here whatsoever. And so there's a guy, a guy parked next to me. It's like 11 a.m. on a Friday, by the way. Um, guy parked next to me is like a typical guy who's at Home Depot at 11 a.m. on a Friday. Like he's a worker of <laughs> something with... Home Depot items. And he's like, it looks like you're having trouble with that pallet because I'm like clearly struggling like underneath this pallet in the parking lot. And I'm like, <laughs> it's fine. And he's like, well, how far do you have to take that? I was like, downtown. He goes, downtown Clackamas? And I was like, what is that? I don't think that's a place. Um, I was like, I understand why you think that, because I'm in Clackamas, but downtown Portland. And he's like, put the pallet in the back of my truck, I'll just take you. And I was like, this, no. I, and he's like, don't be stupid. And I was like, I have a boyfriend. Like as if a, a man who's going to take a woman he's never met to her apartment with a pallet, like cares. Oh, you have a boyfriend, like, oh, I'll back. Like, He's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, so then I'm like yelling. I'm like, I'll do it myself. I'm fine. So that other people know, like, 
So he's like, okay, crazy person, good luck. And he leaves. And I'm like, I can't deal with this pallet. So I push, I, it, I bail it off my trunk and it shatters. And I get in my car and I leave. Um, <laughs> and the only other home like improvement story I can think of is a Lowe's and Tigard. There's, I drove past probably 200 on the way. So I drive to Tigard, I go up to a guy, I'm like almost crying, because I'm like, I really need a pallet. He's like, here, just take this pallet. And I, we jimmy it into my car, like the leather's getting punctured, it's ruining everything. I get it to my apartment. I go back to that Lowe's and Tigard. I buy hundreds of dollars worth of soil and flowers and fertilizer, because I want this to like really work. And I am out on the patio of my apartment and I'm planting it and planting it. It's like it needs to sit for a little bit for the roots to go. I'm like, okay, well, Friday afternoon, like, till Sunday, that's fine. <laughs> and so I'm like packing it because the way a pallet works, it's just empty inside. It's like a tube. There's no, like, nothing holding up all the steps. But I'm like, oh, the roots. Well, so that's nature. And so I'm packing it in. And Patrick's, so watering it a ton so that it grows. And uh, Patrick's getting home on Sunday. So he, like, calls me. He's like, oh, I'm getting dropped off in, like, 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, so the pallet's got to get up now. Um, and so I don't even know how. It weighed 150 pounds at least. I'm, like, getting it. And I push it up against the wall and everything in it, <laughs> hundreds of dollars worth of flowers, soil, s tears are streaming down my face because like I don't even care about the project anymore. That ended a long time ago. But <laughs> now I've got 150 pounds of soil and garden refuse on my downtown Portland apartment patio, <laughs> looking out over Jefferson Street. <laughs> and I'm like, do I like bag this and put it down the trash chute? And that seemed not environmentally friendly. I was like, let's give it back to the earth. So Patrick gets home and he's like, what were you thinking? And I'm like, this was for you. He's like, I don't bring me into this. I had, no, I had nothing to do with this. This was all you. I was like, well, guess what? We're together. Now it's your problem. Uh, grab a broom. And so we're like, it's like 3 p.m. on Sunday. And like, we're not in the busiest part of downtown Portland, but there's people around. Like, the Rose Festival is probably happening. And so... We're like standing on our patio, like looking until we see like a break in people. And then we're like shoveling <laughs> soil and flowers into the street. Like there's a Starbucks right below us. It's getting on the umbrellas <laughs> at Starbucks. And I'm like, we got to go down there and knock it off. He's like, we do not need to go anywhere near that area. And so you look out there and there's just like a huge semicircle of dirt and brand new pansies, like still in the like square, their roots have moved nowhere and um, they're everywhere. And people, I, we can hear people like, what the hell? And I'm like, it's fine, it's nature. Like take, someone, take one home if you want it. Um, Cause Portland people are generous. And then I made Patrick put the pallet in the dumpster room. So someone dealt with that. And I still do Pinterest projects all the time. And sometimes they turn out okay.